Photography is most enjoyed when you understand light because <laughs> yes, that's what photography is all about, capturing light. So what if I told you that you are starting photography and you don't have any idea as to how to understand light and you just simply need to know this. Use one light first of all, understand how light shaping, light um, intensity, the quality and the quantity, how it affects the shoots you do as well as the overall um, effect it gives to you when you are doing post-production. I mean, when you're editing, you get what I mean. So we are going to learn in this video how to use one light to capture great images when you're capturing food products, any other thing. I'm just going to explain this, but today we're going to have B-rolls of a food photography session that I had for a restaurant. And yeah, just to make you understand, help you, aid you along the way, as I explain how I use my single light with a modifier, of course, with the help of an assistant, how I use different configurations of lighting to capture these images. So let's get right into it. So this shoot, as I said before, um, I did it at a restaurant and uh, it wasn't a tough one because the food was already prepared. I got there and the food was ready, you understand? So um, I particularly took images of this very one, the French fries that you're seeing with, uh, I think he calls it cod fish or something like that. Yes, that's a fish you see over there, um, accompanying it with ketchup, all right? So these colors just caught my attention. And you realize that the French fries also has this greenery, you know, particles or uh, leaves over there, also garnishing it up. So um, if you have a food stylist, you are gonna definitely get the best setups. In fact, they presented the food and when it came, it was in this state and I just had to do a few minor tweaks, right? Just some simple, simple micro adjustments that didn't really require much. So when I got it together, took out my camera, assembled my lights, I had someone to help me out over there and we started shooting with the light from above just like an umbrella all right i normally use such configurations so that when i'm shooting at the eye level of the food or the setup i can get a light falling right on top of the food okay so that's one configuration you can always use when you're using one light to take pictures of food okay after capturing that i decided to position the light to the right of the camera as i shot a little bit above the food so the light was coming from the right hitting the food from one side and that's what i got i didn't just stop there i did other lighting configurations for instance one having the light from opposite the camera which suggested backlighting but this time wasn't that the light was actually shining the right direction opposite the camera straight into the lens no it was a little bit angled this way like a 45 degree angle towards the food as i shot a little bit above the food like that so i could get a shot from above so you see the light hitting the food from the opposite side of the camera one challenge that i faced was that i had a lot of ambient light from the camera right pouring through into the space I was shooting in the restaurant because they have this huge glass windows that allows a lot of light. It actually admits a lot of light into the space. So most often than not, I had the light right in the way of the light so it doesn't actually affect the food because of the size of the modifier, the Godox 95 centimeter octobox that I was using relatively to the food is bigger. I could block enough light that um, I didn't want to have affecting the entire setup. You get what I mean? And because I was using the continuous light, the Godox SL 60W, I couldn't shoot at faster shutter speeds like over one two hundredth of a second and beyond. I mostly kept myself shooting at one one hundredth of a second, which suggested that I couldn't do so many movements, right? I had to be very still as much as possible. And in fact, thankfully, my subject wasn't a movable. I was an inanimate set up food and I didn't have so much trouble with that okay you get it so because I could block the light and control the amount of light I was using I could freely have the light moving around and this was done totally with just one light just one light and I could control the ambient light I was pouring into the room I could block it and I could still expose with just that single light source as soft as I could get it because it has this diffusion scrim there's another one within the octobox two diffusion scrims i could control the amount of light that was coming through in terms of the quality because i could soften it and because it was soft it could wrap around the food as much as possible 
So that's exactly how you shoot with one light source and it makes photography much easier than when you're getting your foot out of the door and you're bombarded with all the things that you think you should purchase in terms of lighting equipment before you can get decent photographs with your camera. So this brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, share it, comment, and let me know what you make of this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and turn on the post notification button after you've done that, so that anytime I upload a new video over here, you'll be the first to see it. And yeah, mm, until the next video, I'm gonna catch you later. Have a wonderful day. See ya.